Hello, uh, today we're going to quickly look at the new JavaScript framework uh, called Ripple. Obviously, you have to show the day since JavaScript framework.com because like new JS framework job. Uh, they recently added this website. Uh, it has uh, not too much information, but I, I guess it's a, like a good enough introduction into like what it is. Some features, right? So it is inspired by Svelte in React and uh, Block Dome. We're going to talk a bit about that kind of like later. Uh, the biggest thing that is kind of like interesting about it, right, is that it's uh, it's using uh, kind of like a mix of kind of like Svelte and JSX and like something, something new. Um, and you can see it kind of like here, right? So so let count equals zero. That's like a very like swell thing, right? There's like you're doing the dollar signs to denote that that this thing is reactive. Um, and then uh, it doesn't have. Oh yeah, it has like here, right? So like, and then inside of your kind of like markup, right? You just write your regular JavaScript. You can say like if something, then do something. The side effect of that is like every time that you use strings, you have to kind of like show the uh, escape those strings, I guess, right? So like it knows that oh, it's not like a JavaScript kind of like code that is happening here. It's just a string that they should print out. So yeah, it's a it's a new look. I don't know, <laughs> right? It it's fun to see kind of like colon props and let dollar sign at the same time. Uh, and the like the the if uh, right with without any of the like the hash marks or whatever the like they use in in Svelte and I guess in Angular right now right uh, yeah it's a it's a new look it's a it's a it's a cool like set of features uh, and I know what exactly I want to like explain here uh, yeah I guess like TypeScript support out of the box Svelte was like I think existed like four years before they started doing uh, TypeScript. Also, like a VS Code plugin again from the day one. That's a, like a pretty interesting thing. That like uh, this, you uh, it wasn't always like a requirement, right? But like these days, like you can like have to do it. Uh, the other thing that uh, I'm going to call out is the like the style style scoping. That's a feature from um, from Svelte, uh, right? Like when you have like a style tag inside of your component. It's not a, like a global CSS. Like this container is going to be like that container, and it's going to yell at you if you're like not using it and all that stuff. So it's like a pretty pretty cool thing. Um, yeah. So it has some like npm downloads. Uh, they pu pushed it like kind of like just days ago, uh, right? Uh, uh, twelve days ago, and uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of what I've kind of like did locally uh, is I took their basic example. I changed it a bit. Um, I'm also using VS Code with uh, their VS Code extension. I didn't figure out how to use it in cursor. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I guess you can always like use manual installs. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, I'm using VS Code here. Uh, and uh, the thing that I'm going to call out Kind of like probably right away is that they also like inspired by flow, uh, flow like language kind of like level support of like what is a component, right? What is a hook? Uh, you can see that like the Ripple inside of Ripple files, uh, you can use the uh, you can use like all of those features, right? And like you're calling out is like, hey, this is a component, uh, and uh, what's the other one? I forgot. There, there's like another term, but yeah, I only have component right now. <laughs> I don't. I'm not using props. It's from like my my previous experiments. But anyway, uh, so and I think the like the let dollar sign it works inside of like Ripple as well. So if you're uh, kind of like similar as like Svelte, right? So you can do like uh, Svelte.ts files, I think. In Svelte five, where you like, if you want to use like Svelte reactivity, you uh, like outside of components, you could. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't look kind of like into that. The big thing is that they don't have VDOM, and they don't have signals. 
right? Which you would expect that <laughs> if, if it's like a mix between like React and, and Svelte, like you, it would have like one of those two things. Uh, but it's using this, this thing called block. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's like a, uh, that's like a idea that was like first popularized by this like block DOM library. And you probably kind of like didn't hear about that, but it, it's like one of the, like the fastest kind of like DOM libraries, right? So it's like, it's like between vanilla and like vanilla uh, web components, right? So it's like, it's a very like fast kind of like way of dealing with things. And uh, there are some, <laughs> there are some like consequences of that. Um, so uh, yeah, just wanted to call out that like, I was like, okay, we have effects, we have like render effects, we have like this and that, but like, where are the signals? And it's like, well, there are no signals. It's all, it's all like block, uh, block based. Um, so uh, where are we going with this? Um, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm just going to show kind of like how it looks. If you do production build, if uh, the JavaScript uh, bundle for like the whole application with like user code and like framework code is like four kilobyte gzip, it's like one of the smallest ones uh, kind of like out there. I don't even remember like maybe like something like Atomico has <laughs> had or like they had like different versions. And I think one of the versions was like kind of like as small as this. Uh, so I have this like a like a slightly modified like a, a, a data original example. So like I moved the counter into separate uh, file. Uh, so for example, you can see that like the the styles are scoped. So like if I move that style and I like I move it into this application, right? It's not going to oh well, yeah. So it's not going to it's not going to apply, right? Because it's like if, when it's uh, when it uh, when it says button, right, that's the button that like is in that file. If it's not in this file, like that that style is not going to apply. Again, if you use Svelte before, you probably you probably already know that. Uh, it's almost like Svelte three, right? Svelte three was kind of like based on like VDOM internally, kind of, uh, like or at least like a very like uh, approach that was very close to VDOM. Uh, so this one is like it looks like Swell Three, right? But it's using uh, it's using DOM. Oh, sorry, it's using blocks. Uh, yeah, so you can express the same kind of like things uh, with like count something and like double something. Uh, then you can have effects that will like follow those changes and all that stuff. And all, and again, if you use like Swell Three, you can like mutate the state, you can read the state, all all the like the normal things. Right. Uh, the thing that I wanted to show is like if you're coming from the uh, if you're coming into this from React, right? So I have this like count render, right? That is like on a component kind of like level. This one is only shown on the render, right? It's not going to be called again when the when the value is changing, right? So like it doesn't like it doesn't uh, subscribe to count, right? Like it will only show the like the initial value and that's it. Uh, but this effect that is like subscribed to count or like in this can, case to double, right? Like it will re-render. Uh, so so again, that makes it very fast. It's like if I click on something, I'm changing like one DOM node and like I'm rerunning like one effect. I'm not like calculating VDOM diffs and all that stuff. Uh, so from here, uh, the part that I wanted to show is like in the app, I have this like toggle. Uh, right, and that toggle again, it it's it's kind of like a mix of like React and and Svelte, uh, right? Svelte tree, I guess. Uh, is like, well, show me this button, and if the toggle like true or false, show like different text, uh, and on click, call this code, right? Again, like if you're coming from this from React, you're like, what kind of hell is this? <laughs> but this is how they they're doing it in in Svelte. But this is like a different, a new thing, right? Like in JSX, because everything is kind of like expression, you would like write a ternary for this. In Ripple, you just like write like if. <laughs> uh, and then like the, the language ser server is basically, not language server, but like the compiler, right? It, it will convert it to the, to the thing, uh, to the right thing. Okay, so what I wanted to show here is like, if I hide this counter now, and if I show it, right, like I will 
see the like the render again, right? So like if that toggle was uh, maybe like display display none, right? Like if it was hiding it, like the the element wouldn't be created and we wouldn't have seen the like the 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 render the render call called again. But now if we are hiding it and like mounting it back up, we will obviously see. Uh, I think the only thing that I wanted to kind of like to call out is that like very early days, it's not like in JS benchmark yet. We are just like thinking that it will be fast, right? Like we 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 don't we don't have the numbers yet, uh, and it also doesn't have SSR yet. So SSR is obviously kind of like going to change the like the is going to change the like the the complexity of this thing a bit. I'm just going to show the uh, the kind of like the compiled output again for people who are like interested yeah i don't know if you ever like looked at this sort of stuff in like other frameworks but um uh, i think like swelt uh and solid they, they will have like this sort of like output on their on their playground so you can take a take a look the first thing that is like straight from like swelt or or solid is like this template thing right so all of this is going to be compiled into this like kind of like optimized string that allows you to create like a like static markup kind of like right away. And then it will have uh, kind of like walkers <laughs> and like placeholders for like, oh, this is the thing that could change or this is the thing that could have like an event listener and so on. So it creates the it creates the template first. Then it can say like, oh, find me the first diff, right? That's going to be the first diff. Find me the first child of that div that's going to be this button and on that button make sure to add the like the on click listener right then it's like well uh find me the text that is like inside of a span so that's going to be this span and this text right it has this like one space of text so that parser will create a dom node <laughs> otherwise if you don't have anything it will be empty right so like all of those like tricks that uh, again like the, the, the like the newer uh, frameworks use and whatnot and so this one is going to be kind of like in the signals world that is like oh that's a, like a render effect if the if the count changes like set text to the counter right um but the, yeah they're using block oh what's going on uh they're using kind of like block approach so but like from outside it looks like that uh, and again, what I was showing, right, is like the, the button to find the button to add on, click on it and so on. Um, so this one is, I think, oh, I guess that's probably like connecting to the parent. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so this is our component level kind of like thing, right? So like we had this console log and it converted it into this sort of like a kind of like effect that runs when the component is um, is mounted. And then we have this effect that will like rerun every time that like our, our double thing changes, right? And the double is a computed that is based on this like reactive, reactive variable. But yeah, so like this compiled output for my kind of like signals eyes looks very like similar. Uh, but yeah, obviously the like the implementation of all the like the the computed and tracked and all that stuff is is different and yeah, presumably it is it is faster. Um, there are like more tricky things about Ripple and uh, I I don't know how much of that I can like want to talk about because I had some issues with like uh, I would like copy paste uh, examples from README. And then, like VS Code formatter will like remove them because it doesn't understand what is going on. I had this uh, problem with like I would I'll add like a debugger symbol and it will like remove it. So yeah, obviously in like early days, uh, yeah. So the only thing that I want to kind of like call out, but I'm not going to show, is that they also have this whole idea of like um, of like kind of like reactive props. Uh, so in React, like all the props are just values, right? So like if you get a get like count zero, that's zero. Like if it's going to change to one, you're just going to get one. It, there's like no way to kind of like to subscribe to prop changes or whatever, right? Your component is just going to be rerendered at some point. So here it's a bit of like a different thing 
like reactive props are kind of like called out as reactive props and they have kind of like a, this like a getter and setter thing so that means that like children can like have a way to um change your uh the, like the state in the parents uh, I, I think you can like send them read only if you just like don't send the like the set name. So it's kind of like a bit of a balance between like kind of like how uh, Solid is doing it and like how Svelte is doing it. Uh, but like the what I wanted to call out is that I think this is an example of like some of the things that like if you're if you had a value that wasn't reactive and now it is, you will rewrite your components kind of like more. Than like compared to React or Solid or or Svelte or whatever, but this is probably where they are like, getting some of the like the performance back, right? They're saying, well, that's a two different use cases. Use different syntax to like to get those use cases. This will allow us to unlock some of the like the optimizations, right? Uh, so it's not uh, the the way that you know, like I think about it. This thing is closer to like assembly <laughs> it's like we're getting you the very basics on like how you can build your application it's not going to be like super ergonomic for 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 everything right sometimes you will have to do some choices that will like affect your performance and you will know when you're going to do it that's kind of like how i how i um treated that thing yeah they also have like graphs and uh, the uh, the uh, the context and stuff but yeah that's not going to be part of my demo uh, and yeah that's that's kind of like ripple that's um kind of like pretty exciting uh, uh obviously dominic when he kind of like pushed this thing out he said oh i i'm hoping it will get um uh, it will like make a ripple across all the like frameworks the same way as like kind of like signals did right so like now everyone had to implement signals and he's i guess he's like trying to uh trying to make ripples trying to see if the if people are going to be like more uh accepted ac accepting of like the the block uh dome approach maybe uh if i'm not mistaken that's what like million js also uses um but I, I did I didn't like do million js a lot so to to know exactly but um uh, when people are saying is like oh what is the next thing for react right and like are you going to use signals in react in some sense like they might do something like this instead right like they are already like halfway there with their compiler and all that stuff so it's like yeah maybe he's right right so, like maybe he knows something maybe like the, the new version of react is going to be like closer to this than the signals for example uh right so it's like a uh, what is next uh, after vdom uh but on the other hand i'm like i'm not so sure right like if 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 anything it it, it probably like for react it will never get more than like <laughs> implementation detail uh but yeah maybe uh, maybe he he's right, and maybe that will do. Uh, maybe that will do some ripples. Uh, but yeah, it, it's like a very very early days. Uh, doesn't have SSR yet, uh, but like he 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 guy he's a guy who knows what he's doing. So uh, I'm sure he will he will figure all of this stuff out. And again, like having like TypeScript support out of the box, having like VS Code plugins from the day one, and all that stuff. That that's yeah, that's all like a signal that he's uh, he's doing this thing uh, pretty seriously.